Happy New Year! <laughs> so it is the first video of 2020 and I thought I'd just do a little video of giving you guys a writing update and seeing where I am with my nano project and how it's grown or not grown as much as I'd hope it has and just filling you guys in because I really want to run with this project as I've said many times before it has given me this spark that I haven't had with writing in a while and I'm really excited, excited enough to plan future books to sort of give me something to aim for and I'm just loving it. I'm loving writing these characters, I'm loving writing this story. There are a few things I know I need to tweak but that's where editing comes in and I've got, beta re I've got my beta reader as well that's helping me out as I go and yeah I just thought I'd give you guys a bit of an update. So at the beginning of NaNoWriMo I wanted to get a massive head start on everything just so that I could focus slow slowly? solely on my writing for this story. And although that mindset still remains, it has slipped a lot. I was under the impression that even though I only got to about... Uh, how much was it? I think it was 11 chapters of the 26 that I've planned. And that came to about 73,000 words. And based on that, I was under the assumption that I could very easily finish the book by the end of December. And in theory, if it was a similar kind of setup as Nano, I think I would have gotten it. However, I didn't take into account, as I always do, I, I do this every bloody year, I always forget you're going to be running around like a mad woman because it's Christmas and New Year's and also I have a couple of family members that have their birthdays in December as well so well done brain you really planned ahead for that one didn't you so as of right now I have only done two more chapters so I have completed chapter 12 and chapter 13 that brings me to the halfway point of the book in general which does not give me a lot of hope that it's going to be finished by the end of this month. However, I have planned ahead this time. There are no birthdays in January in my family. There are no Christmassy events that we're running behind on. I don't have to do any Christmas shopping. And also, this is a unexpected bonus, with working in the shop, I covered so many shifts at the, at the end of last year that I have now gained a wonderful amount of overtime, which means I will get paid without actually going into work because the hours need to balance themselves out. And I didn't want to take a holiday, so I'm taking it as overtime, so I still get my dang money. I'm going to use that time wisely because I'm going to be powering through with my writing and trying to get this book finished as soon as possible. If I can't get it finished, by the end of January. Middle of February is still a pretty decent goal for me and I know I can do that much at least. <laughs> I'm just... I'm a bit annoyed at myself for not getting that far, or not getting as far as I thought I was going to, but it's my own fault. I didn't plan ahead and I got so caught up with the nano mindset that I was just under the assumption that I could just power through straight away and that was going to be it, but it's never just that, is it? <laughs> yeah, I'm still a good chunk of the way through. More than halfway is pretty decent, and I still haven't lost the spark. I am still so excited for where this is going to go, and in a way, talking about how excited I am kind of makes me a bit nervous, because then what if when it is in the stages of going into one type of publication, what if it's not liked? But then that's something that writers deal with all the time, is that worry and anxiety of what if no one likes my work? Well, sometimes you just have to take a chance. I need to stop living in the what if mindset and just go for it. So that's what I'm going to do. So this, as if, this is my first sort of writing update that isn't nano related. It's, like it's not a week-long thing, so I'm a little bit nervous and disjointed of 
how I'm actually wording all of this, so it is very jumbled and I am sorry about that and I will try and keep it short. I just wanted to give you guys a bit of an update of where I was um, with the whole writing thing. Mentally, I'm doing great. It was a great New Year's, I've got a massive chunk done and I'm just really looking forward to going through and seeing what's going to be around the corner and I haven't felt this great about writing in a long time. Well, this story turns out to be utter crap or some kind of passable piece of parchment probably should have prepared a better alliteration. Anyway, I just love it. I just love this story so much and I love these characters and it's just bringing this excitement back and I kind of feel a bit like a kid again. <laughs> So yeah, it's not really much to update you on at the moment because again, with Christmas and New Year's and getting back into a routine with everything, it did go a little bit off the rails. Two chapters done since New Year's, hoping to get it done by the end of the end of the month, maybe middle of the Fe I was gonna say September, February, <laughs> February, <laughs> middle of February. So yeah, that's just a quick writing update. I only managed to get two chapters done since Nano. That's not great and I'm a little bit annoyed at myself, but it was the season of visiting family and Mad Rush and food, so I think we can let that one slide just a little bit. <laughs> but yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. I hope your writing projects are going way better than mine, they probably are, and I have full faith in you guys. So, see you in the next video, and I will put up another writing update whenever that may be. Hope you're having a great start to the new year, I hope you're way more organised than I am, and I will see you guys soon. <laughs> Bye!